Cabinet Pro allows four different methods of entering cabinets or doors into any given job. The first method is to place cabinets onto your floor plan by selecting them from a list. Placing cabinets into the job from the floor plan will generally take you to the cabinet editor in case you wish to modify your cabinet. And by the way, you can also place doors by themselves or wainscoting directly onto the floor plan in the same manner. Alternatively, you can access the drawings of your cabinet libraries themselves uh, instead of the list that we selected from. The second method of adding cabinets to a job is by accessing the cabinet library without being in the floor plan. Here we will see the same thing as we saw just a minute ago when we were in the floor plan, except this time we are adding the cabinet to our job, but we are not adding it to the floor plan. We can also view those same cabinets as just a list of cabinets, or as a list of details about each library cabinet. Once we select a cabinet from our library, Cabinet Pro will take you to the cabinet editor as before. The third method of entering cabinets into the job is what we call a quick entry method. If you already know the name of the library cabinet you wish to enter, simply enter its name here at the opening screen or at the floor plan generator, and then press go. And once again, your cabinet will be placed into the cabinet editor in case you wish to modify it. The fourth way of entering an item into a job is at the door and drawer order entry screen. Here, you can enter doors and drawer boxes that are not attached to any cabinet. This is used exclusively in Door Pro, but only rarely in Cabinet Pro since doors and drawer boxes are usually included when you are making a cabinet. 